All right, Ace Combat fans, this is Ace Combat Assault Horizon Legacy Fighter's Honor. I don't know very much about this. I don't really know much about any Ace Combat besides Ace Combat 7, and I barely know anything about that. Now, thank you for, of course, sharing your insights about Zero, about Megalith, Agnew's Day, about uh, Unsung War. I'm really excited to listen to more Ace Combat. Doesn't really matter what it is. I want to listen. So let's go. I mean, this sounds like it's straight out of a movie, doesn't it? In the first 20 seconds, it sounds like we're preparing for battle. And there's like this patriotic trumpet blare and we're setting the scene for preparations. And uh, it's incredible because this literally sounds like it could be out of, I don't know, Saving Private Ryan or some, some movie. See, now we're in the air and it's almost like the camera pans and we went from this preparation phase to now we're like in the dog fight. We're spinning around, you hear the whoop boom. That could easily be bullets or anti-aircraft uh, fire and you see the puffs of black smoke in the sky. Boom, boom. The harp too, I think, in the very beginning there symbolizes taking off, emerging above the clouds. Like it's all, it's all textured things to tell a story. What a fun shift there too. So we're going in one direction and then we pivot really sharply. We got the women singing and we've got that boopy bop bum bop bum bop 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 bum bop bum. Again, this is like that sort of trepidation, concern, fear, worry, anxiety. We're flying through the air. Maybe someone got knocked down behind us. We don't know. This is where that tension building comes in and it keeps it interesting and fresh. There's beauty in this, right? There's beauty in the art of the dogfight, of being a pilot. There's beauty in the art of flying well. There's a lot of twists and turns in this, and I'm sort of trying to get a picture in my head. It's, I mean, maybe it's just spinning to the left and climbing high into the sky and before diving down on the enemy. Like, there's a lot of beauty and delicacy in here, even though it's probably a dogfight song that we're listening to while we're fighting.
so many beautiful musical things there too. There was a lot of Remember, when we're singing, we don't ever want to stay on one note. Things get boring that way. We always want to keep moving forward, propelling. So when we I mean, this is very hard to control. 50, 60, 20 people. It's very hard to make everybody do the same thing at the same time, you know, but you do eventually become one collective consciousness, usually when you spend a lot of time together in a chorus or a choir. This and notice that we're doubled in the orchestra, the strings, and I think some of the woodwinds are doubling the voice. That adds to the layering and to the texturing so that it sounds interesting. Not only that, but then the second section after that, we get very quiet. And again, why do we get quiet? We get quiet to pull attention. We get quiet so that an audience listens in. We get quiet so that and all of a sudden, what's that? They got quiet. Let me lean in. That's, that's the intention of pulling back. It creates an atmosphere that we want to listen more when someone's talking or whispering or singing quieter. There's so much pride in here and there's so much confidence. And it's just like, yes, we're going, we're, we're doing this. This is easy for us. We will destroy the enemy, no problem. You know, there's a real sense of, of confidence and pride. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Fighter's Honor, I realized the title, Fighter's Honor. I think the reason why there's so many complex emotions in this is because Fighter's Honor. You can do the wrong thing. You can choose to play dirty and be sneaky and tricky, or you can have honor and be focused on doing the right thing morally. Maybe you hear this sort of discrepancy between, oh, I wanna do the right thing, and oh, if I do this, then I can get a head start, or I can sneak up on the enemy, but that would be honorless or something. And I also think that it's interesting here at the end that we resolve and it ends, but there's a bit of tension here, and it's almost like you never know what, what's the right decision, right? You'll never know if what you're doing and being honorable is the right path. You just have to like hold true to what you believe and then it'll be okay. But there is that bit of tension and a bit of uncertainty here that is sort of questionable. And it's like, well, did we make the right decision because the enemy's still there or whatever. It's cool, it's such beautiful music. I, I love listening to Ace Combat. I don't know anything about Ace Combat Assault Horizon Legacy. So I don't know where this stands for people in terms of like Ace Combat games. Uh, you know, all I've ever really heard about is the songs I mentioned. So very, very, very cinematic. And it feels very 
different from the previous songs from Ace Combat that I've listened to on the channel that are a bit more, there's a different essence to them, whereas this feels very rooted in cinematic storytelling. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can check out the links in the About section. And if you want to join the Discord, feel free. It'd be nice to have you around. As always, thanks a ton, and I'll talk to you soon, okay?